Research and innovation in Futuris. Protecting maritime and land borders is a daily challenge for Europe. Researchers have been examining how to use lasers, gamma rays and neutron beams to address that challenge. This is how some new robots are being peacefully engaged on Europe's last frontier of border protection. Some very unusual research tools arrive in a picturesque port along the Croatian coast. This is an airplane bomb and there is variety of uh, different bombs uh, uh, in uh, along the coast of Mediterranean, uh, Atlantic Ocean and Baltic Sea. They are in fact fake bombs. Their handling represents no real risks, even if they contain everything needed to make dynamite. Uh, hydrogen, carbon, oxygen and nitrogen. TNT has only these four elements. So it's easy to make a simulant uh, in uh, 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 preserving the proportion of these four elements. These dummy bombs are being used to test a submarine able to identify underwater explosives. This is actually the only, uh, the only submarine with legs. The prototype has been designed by scientists at a European Union research project aimed at improving security near Europe's key maritime infrastructures and along sea routes. If there are reports of an unidentified object uh, lying on the seafloor or being uh, attached to the bridge or any infrastructure element, you will send our surveyor, it will come uh, to the object, position itself, do the measurement, report the result to the mothership and then move away. The result of its inspection will be a knowledge of the chemical composition of material inside. The prototype is being given a real-life test along the Adriatic coast. The fake bomb is carefully placed on the sandy seafloor, some 10 meters underwater. The robot is placed over it. It then starts emitting neutron beams that will help to see inside the device. Neutrons are able to penetrate materials and find out what they are made of. They collide with the material inside the bomb and the collision produces gamma rays. We've developed an electronic detector that allows us to collect a concentrated data stream from a high-powered neutron bombardment. Special software transforms these gamma rays into a graphic readout so researchers can determine the type and quantity of elements inside the box. We can see a peak here, that's the carbon. The second peak indicates the presence of oxygen. And the software tells us the relationship between these two readings. If this reveals a potentially volatile ratio, like here, the system has identified that the object we're examining contains explosives. After a conclusive first test, the fake bomb is recovered and the submarine is safely towed back for some maintenance. Further tests will help to enhance its underwater mobility and data acquisition accuracy. Meanwhile, here in Poland, there's a very different border challenge.
Researchers are seeing if they can control the European Union's land borders with the wheels of an autonomous, unarmed gamekeeper. The platform drives autonomously to the desired observation point and then the observation systems payloads are activated, the radar, the observation cameras, and it detects people that are trying to cross the border illegally. Once the vehicle identifies any illegal action along the border, it raises the alarm, while at the same time providing its position and video data so appropriate action can be planned by border guards. The system is able to provide uh, video data, it's normal video and infrared video, and also the radar uh, data. The main problem we are having is the integration of the autonomous driving, it's uh, autonomous tracking and detecting uh, people or vehicles, uh, it's also the sophisticated uh, control uh, station and uh, communication that is also the main challenge. Before going into action, the vehicle is programmed according to the specific weather and environment around the border that it has to survey. We have developed an uh, obstacle detection and avoided system to avoid obstacles. Uh, the vehicle is capable to perform path planning by, by itself. Forbidden zones, for example, that will not enter roads, what it be driving in. Uh, and of course, it's a matter of the database what it has put in, in the vehicle. Those database systems include accurate topographic simulations of the environment around. Just for these tests in southwest Poland, for example, 35 different computer simulated elements were created by the developers. It includes topographic data and aerial data and uh, uh, information on buildings, their heights, and uh, water sources, agricultural areas, fences, trees, roads, buildings. Topographic simulations, data from embedded cameras and radars, and autonomous navigation systems were then integrated into a single easy to use tracking and control unit under the supervision of Polish and Turkish engineers. We have created an enormous architecture for this project. This framework allows us to control autonomous systems from one center. We can handle several autonomous systems here, including data from unmanned aerial devices. Researchers hope the autonomous technology will eventually be able to provide a less risky, more efficient and reliable way to survey challenging land borders.